the late 70s and early 1980s, Richard Stallman was doing artificial intelligence research and coding at the MIT Artificial Intelligence Lab. Richard had a number of negative experiences during that period which soured him on the whole idea of commercial software. Such as? Um, some code that he wanted to work on w and wanted to fix was locked up and he couldn't get the company that owned the code to let him fix it even though it would have been to their advantage to do so. And that put me into a moral dilemma you see because to get one of the modern computers of the day which was the early 80s you would have to get a proprietary operating system. The developers of those systems didn't share with other people. Instead, they tried to control the users, dominate the users, restrict them, saying, if to get this system, you have to sign a promise you won't share with anybody else. And to me, that was essentially a promise to be a bad person, to betray the rest of the world, cut myself off from society, from the cooperating community. And I had already experienced what happened when other people did that to us, when they refused to share with us because they had signed these contracts. And it hurt the whole lab, kept us from doing useful things before. So I just wasn't going to do that. I felt this is wrong. I am not going to live this way. And from experiences like this, he developed a profound hostility to the idea of intellectual property and software. He eventually acted this out by founding the Free Software Foundation. So I looked for another alternative, and I realized I was an operating system developer. If I were to develop another operating system, and then as the author, encourage everyone to share it, say, everyone, you can come and get it, use this, form a new community, not only could I give myself a way to keep using computers without betraying other people, but I'd give it to everybody else too. Everybody would have a way out of that moral dilemma. And so I realized this was what I had to do with my life. I actually began the project in January of 1984. That's when I resigned from my job at MIT to start developing the GNU operating system. Now I should explain that the name GNU is a hack because it's a recursive acronym. It stands for GNU's not Unix. You see, so the G in GNU stands for GNU. And what the name means is, I was developing a system that was like the Unix operating system, but was not the Unix operating system. This was a different system. We would have to write it completely from scratch because Unix was proprietary. We were forbidden to share Unix. We couldn't use Unix. It was useless for a community. So we had to write a replacement for it. Throughout the 1980s, as Richard Stallman was building the GNU project, computer scientists from the University of California at Berkeley were developing their own free operating system. Known as Berkeley